Oh. Oh, sweetheart. It is so good to be home. <laughs> Promise me something. What? Next time you get to thinking about leaving for California or any place else without me, don't do it. I promise. I missed you so much. And the children. I thought they'd be here when I got home. Well, uh, they're upstairs. And yeah? I wanted to spend a few minutes alone with you. Well, I have a lot to tell you, too, but I think you can wait until I've seen the kids. Uh, wait. Uh, wait a minute. What? I, uh... Ever since you called and said you were coming home, I, uh... I've been preparing myself to tell you something. You look terribly serious. It can't be as bad as all that. Well, good or bad, I can't judge that. All I know is I can't keep my suspicions to myself any longer. <sighs> Honey, I have reason to believe that 25 years ago, Roger Gordon was your lover. And that means that one of his two daughters, either Megan or Sarah, is your daughter too. Gabrielle, this is better than sex. I have solved the mystery of Lantano Mountain. You and I are on the brink of entering a turn-up. Here's what to do when you don't find the rainbows in this time. Here's where you go when it looks like the rain won't win. Don't cry. to a turn it's got to be by that old oak tree okay now the architect in New York says for this house to look its best that it should face south yeah oh no well, which way south I was never good at that I didn't now, wait, Landview's down there, so that must be south. Oh, look at that view. It is gorgeous. I mean, looking down over the trees and into the valley. Oh, Cord is going to love this place. I can't wait to show him. <laughs> oh, this is really going to be our dream house. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, poor Michael. It's too bad. Good Lord made losers. So winners could win. Why does this spot look so familiar? Has the land changed completely in 30 years? Maybe you're in the wrong place, Gabby. You better keep looking. Gabrielle? Tina, what are you doing here? I was just going to ask you the same thing. What are you doing here? There's nothing wrong with me being up here on the mountain? Fine, then why don't you tell me why you're here? Well, better yet, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be in New York at the, at the design seminar. I paid for that, remember? It finished early, so I came home. I mean, that is all right with you, isn't it? It's fine. What are you doing up here? Well, you know, I don't only have things to do for you. I was up here looking for a site for cords in my new home. <laughs> Why didn't you say so, Tina? Why, you're very strange at times, you know? Yeah, you're a fine one to talk about that. You know, somehow I never pictured you as quite the type to come up here for a winter hike. What have you got behind your back? Nothing. Oh? Doesn't look like nothing to me. Uh, Tina! Uh. I knew it. I was right. You had this all along, didn't you? And when I went and asked you about it, that was another lie, wasn't it? You don't understand. Oh, I understand perfectly well that this is that photo of a poppy field, the same poppy field that Vicky saw in her dream. And you took it, didn't you? Why? Why? Because you just wanted to show it to Michael Grant? Be upset. There is a perfectly logical reason. Oh, yeah, I'll bet there is. And you were part of that kidnapping, too, weren't you? What? No, 
you not only didn't want us to catch up with Vicky and find her, no, you knew exactly who took her, didn't you? It was Michael Grand and company. You're letting your imagination run wild with you, Tina. Shit, this photo is not part of my imagination. It's not what you think. I discovered the photograph. It got into my bag somehow. Got into my bag. Oh, that's a good one. I've never heard that one before. It's the truth, Tina. And when I discovered it, I realized that it must be terribly important to you, but you were away at the time, and I, I knew that you probably needed it to find your site for your new home. So since you were still in New York, I decided I'd do some scouting and locate the perfect spot as a surprise. Yeah, you're good. You really are good, and if I didn't know you so well, I might just believe this story. It's the truth, Tina. No, it's not. It is a lie. You didn't just trek up on this, on this mountain just just about some house. No, this had to do with Vicky, and I'm gonna go tell her right now. Tina, don't. No, I'm gonna tell her, and you can explain this whole thing to her, and I guarantee you she's not gonna believe you any more than I do. <sighs> Tina, I, uh, I just can't believe this. I mean, you were in on this whole thing all along. You were in cahoots with Michael Grand the whole time, and I... It's not a light. It can't be that. And it... But the sound, do you hear it? There's a sound from there. It sounds like there's like there's machines in there or something. That's right, machines. There would be machines to keep the light going. What are you talking about? God knows this place is giving me the creeps. Come on, let's go. No, Tina, no, we can't. And we mustn't let anybody know that we found it. Found what? This is it. This is really it. What what? What is it? falls in that. Oh. Boy, am I ever going to need a good dry cleaner, though. Gabrielle? <gasps> Gabrielle, my God! G Gabrielle, come on, honey. You can't... No, no, you can't be dead. Wake up, please, Gabrielle. Come on. Please. Honey, before you no, say anything... Sweetheart, let me finish. All right. I know this comes as quite a shock to you, but it's the only conclusion I can come to. Now, we know that your father funded Rogers Foundation a year after you gave birth to a baby. On top of that, Rogers already admitted that he knew you during that same time period. And ever since you announced that Christine was your daughter, he's gotten closer and closer to this family, especially to you. And that is why... Honey, stop, please. I've been over all of this information. In fact, I spent the entire flight to California coming to the exact same conclusion. But I was wrong. While I was in California, I spent many, many long hours with Miss Lovett, who was Roger Gordon's assistant. She's known the whole Gordon family since the very beginning, since when EnviroCare was created 24 years ago. She didn't try to deny that your father funded the foundation? No, no, she didn't try to deny anything at all. In fact, she was very open, very honest with me. She told me flat out, Megan and Sarah are both the natural daughters of Roger and Carrie. In fact, there was no doubt in her mind about it. Well, she might know everything there is to know about EnviroCare. That doesn't make her an authority on the Gordon girls. She was more than just a valued assistant. She was a close family friend. In fact, she was at the hospital when both the girls were born. She swears they are both Carrie's daughters. And you believe her? Yeah, I do believe her. 
She's a very sweet, dear old lady. In fact, I don't think she could tell a lie if she wanted to. I'm terribly sorry, sweetheart. I know how you feel. We both want this search to end. We want it so badly that we will come to a conclusion and convince ourselves it's got to be true. Sarah. Well, I'm guilty, too. She's such an extraordinary, terrific young woman. We both wanted her to be the answer to our search. We wanted her to be our daughter, the older sister that the children have longed for. But she's not, darling. I'm sorry. As much as I want Sarah Gordon to be my daughter, she's not the one. Oh, you don't understand. I'm guilty of more than just jumping to a conclusion, honey. While you were gone, I made a miserable mistake. Come on, Gabrielle, don't you dare die on me. Oh, thank God you're alive. You scared me to death. <sighs> Uh, that's typical. <clears throat> I fall, perhaps could kill myself, and you're worried about being stuck with my corpse. Oh, that's not fair. You want to talk selfish here? What about you? Going closer to that hole when I told you not to. If you hadn't done that, we wouldn't have fallen in here to begin with. <sighs> it's a very small price. There you go. You're talking crazy again. You know, I would attribute it to your falling, maybe hitting your head, but you started being strange the minute you even saw this hole. There's nothing strange about this. You'll soon see. Yeah, all I see is that we're stuck here, and there's no way to climb out. There is no one up there, so why don't you save your strength? Because you're going to need it later on. What do you mean later on? You see. Come on, we're going this way. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Where are you going? Well, you know the light that we saw coming out of the ground? There has to be a reason for it at the other end of the tunnel. Well, yeah, that's plenty of reason why to go the other direction. As well as that sound, that sound we heard up above it, it's coming from the same direction. Naturally. I mean, naturally, there is nothing natural about this whole thing. Don't you understand? We are in trouble here. Tina, no guts, no glory. Isn't that what they usually say? Well, if you want glory, then make a success out of your hotel. Don't try to get glory while we're stuck in this spooky mountain cave. Tina, things aren't exactly as they appear to be, all right? This isn't a cave. It's a passageway. And as far as spooky, well, we won't know that till we get to the other end. Now, come on. Well, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait. What if we're not the only ones down here? I, I mean, what if there's somebody by that green light? Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Well, I'm not going anywhere. Not until, not until somebody comes here and rescues us. <sighs> all right. You want to stay here? You stay. But I'm going this way, all right? Fine. All right. I'll, I'll be just fine here. I'll, I'll yell until somebody... And until somebody finds us, and I'll be just fine. Oh. Away oh, from me. I was just trying to get to the truth, but it turns out that I have caused nothing but trouble. More trouble, not just for us, but for the Gordon family as well. Why? What have you done? Well, I was so certain that the Gordon girls, one of the Gordon girls, was the baby you gave birth to. I told Sarah my suspicions. You didn't. Yes, I did. I know now that what I did was was wrong. I didn't want to cause Sarah any pain or hurt her. I I, I did everything I could to protect her from what I was really thinking, but she practically forced it out of me, honey. She. I had no choice but to lay out the facts in front of her as I saw them, and the facts only lead to one conclusion. Only because you wanted them to, sweetheart. You've always had a fondness for Sarah ever since she helped you through her blindness. The thought that she might be my daughter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I take it all back. You're no more guilty of jumping to conclusions than I am. Yes, but in the process, I've... I've heard an innocent young lady. <laughs> Maybe her whole family. You've got every right to be upset with me. No, no. I am the very last person on earth to judge. Do you remember a young woman named Victoria Lasek? Of course. She was the first false lead you had in the, what has turned out to be a, what a futile search for your firstborn daughter. She was innocent, Clint. So was her mother. And yet I was quite determined to believe that Mrs. Lasek had lied and that Victoria really was my daughter. I will never 
for the rest of my life forget the look of hurt on their mother's face when we left their home. Uh, honey, we've both been down some... down some crooked roads. And we've had more than our share of dead ends. Well, that's true. We've also inflicted our share of pain on ourselves and on other people, but enough is enough now. We've not managed to solve the riddle. In fact, all we've done is end up with more questions and more confusion. It certainly seems that way. Yeah. But, sweetheart, I can't help thinking. Are you sure that love is on the level? Mm -hmm. I didn't just take her word for it, you know. When I was in California, I saw copies of both girls' birth certificates, Megan's and Sarah's. And? And they prove that what Mrs. Lovett said is right. Both girls, Megan and Sarah, are Roger and Carrie Gordon's natural children. There's just no reason on earth to believe anything but that. Thank you for meeting me here. So, tell me what you found out on your trip. It's Vicky's trip that's the problem. You knew about her going to California. Yeah, fortunately, I received a message from Miss Lovett before I boarded my plane. She'd been contacted by Vicky, who insisted on flying out there and talking to her, supposedly, about EnviroCare. But you knew different. We both know why Vicky wanted to talk to her. Thankfully, Miss Lovett's always been loyal to our family, so I'm sure she stuck to our story. Yeah, but Vicki Buchanan is a hell of a reporter. She knows how to get to the truth. Well, even if she doubts Miss Lovett's story, I'm sure that... I see the solid evidence is on our side, because we had that birth certificate forged just in case something like this would ever come up. So I'm sure our story's safe no matter what Vicki asks. You know, I wish you wouldn't use words like that, like our, we, us. This is your doing, Roger, all these lies, the forged documents, the cover-up. What do you think, I want to deceive Vicky? Do you think I enjoy lying to Sarah and Megan? I've been running one step ahead of disaster for months, not to save myself, but to protect our daughters. Now, at long last, I feel like I can take a breath. Yeah, well, I wouldn't count on that. Your tea. Oh. <sighs> Thank you. What do you mean? Roger, I mean that you can't keep running away from the past. You promised me, and I promised our daughters, that when you got back from Europe, you'd tell the truth to everyone concerned. Yes, I know. But... No buts, Roger. It's past the time when Megan and Sarah should have been told the truth. And it's up to you to do it. Would you slow down? There's no time for that, Tina. Well, I have to sit down and rest. Suit yourself. What do you mean? You're going to leave me here all alone? Look, I didn't come all this way to hold your hand, so either keep up or give up. It's your choice. I can't believe this. What has gotten into you? I always knew you were greedy and everything, but ever since we saw that hall, I mean, it's like you're obsessed or something. I think we should head back. No, no, there's no turning back. What do you mean? Why are you acting so strange? Ever since we got... Wait a minute. Why didn't I think of this before? This tunnel, it's like... It's like the one in Vicky's dream. Vicky's dreams don't matter anymore, not now. But wait a minute, you knew it wasn't a dream, didn't you? In fact, I bet you even know what connects Vicky in this tunnel. Tina, look, we are wasting time. The further along we get, the brighter the light gets, and also the louder the noise from the machinery. Come on. Well, what does that mean? should be obvious, even to you, Tina. Someone has to be responsible for the power. That means someone else is down here. 